The British alternative rock and pop band Coldplay have been extremely successful, but they've also just announced where the end of the road is for them as a band in 2025. So with them going away and me supposedly being a rather huge fan of the band, why do I think this is such a good thing? Hey neighbor, welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is John. Thanks for settling in today to take a dose of the music news. We want to talk about something that broke just before the Christmas holiday. However, I didn't get to it then because much like you probably, I was quite busy at that time. But we got a little antidote, a little something from Chris Martin as he did an interview with Joe Wiley of BBC Radio 2. He was talking with Joe and kind of talking about the fact that he wanted Coldplay to stop releasing albums and new music after the year 2025. Apparently that's going to be the year of the final Coldplay full length album. And at that point, he's gonna turn it over with the unit to just new projects and collaboration form, maybe a new single, something like they did with BTS or Selena Gomez and Beyonce in the past. And also, they would be open to touring. And me, as somebody who has watched diminishing results with new Coldplay music, at least in my eyes, for the better part of the past decade, I think this is a great thing, and I hope that more bands follow in Coldplay's footsteps. Now, what do I mean by that? Why would I be excited that a band I like is going to stop making music? Because at a certain point, the spark, the magic, it runs out. It's not going to be forever. And when an artist can understand that their time is finally coming down, maybe the final grains are falling out of the hourglass, and you can see it, and you know how to plan for that, and you can map out your own exit instead of just kind of slowly, pathetically fading away, I think this is amazing. And again, it's a revelation that I wish more people had. Now, while it's obvious that we as fans want to hold on to something for as long as we possibly can, I just feel like letting go is a different sense of euphoria, knowing that it's okay that maybe Coldplay are never going to make another Rush of Blood or a Viva La Vida or even a Ghost Story, something that threw us a curveball but totally worked. I don't think that they've been putting out total shit for the past 10 years, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. But just to see somebody slowly and quietly fall down a hill, that's no way for anybody to go out. And obviously, as a fan, you probably want to still support them and follow everything they do, but it can become increasingly hard. Can we just agree on that, that it can become a little bit difficult sometimes? I mean, as a Green Day fan, that's my favorite band, I've watched them put out Father of All. I've heard the single, Here Comes the Shock. So I know a thing or two about feeling devastated when one of your favorite bands that's aging starts to let you down. It's not an easy road to cross. But Coldplay are starting to arrive there. All of the members are in their 40s, and I really appreciate them as a unit. They're some of the nicest dudes that you will probably ever encounter in music. And I say that as somebody who hasn't met them in person, but I've followed their career for such a long time. I've, I've watched their documentary, and I've tried to even stay unbiased when other people are just straight up hating right on down their throats, because it's been a very cool thing to do for a long time, to ridicule Coldplay just for their existence. I've watched four dudes and everybody around them, whether it be Phil or Matt Whitecross putting together their music videos, their documentary, just everything about this band, it does feel like there's something very, very special. And to flush that down the drain by trying to pump out records for forever, that sounds like a horrendous idea to me. Now, something that I do want to note here, and something that goes along with the music news update portion of this, is Joe Wiley themselves said it on BBC Radio 2. Uh, this is something where you can't really tell with Chris Martin. Is he joking? Is he being a little bit cheeky here? Is he being facetious? Because this is a band that multiple times have said, this is the date that we're probably going to stop making music or else this will be our final album. Like, I remember that with A Head Full of Dreams. I remember that with Ghost Stories. Those ended up being back-to-back -back sparks that ended up making other stuff like Everyday Life and Music of the Spheres. And some of those, maybe they should have actually stopped for. I joke because I love them, okay? I like Coldplay a whole lot. I think that there hasn't necessarily been an irredeemable project in the sense that there's just been nothing that shows that they still have it because that's definitely not true. I think it can boil down to personal preference, but 
I think maybe we can at least all somewhat agree on the fact that it's been a downward slope for a little bit. It's the creative spark. It's the energy that doesn't necessarily feel like it's there. They're trying to find it again, and I can appreciate the fact that they still are trying to find that earnest sense of humanity, but I just don't feel like they're cutting off the right slices. It's getting buried somewhere in a wormhole in a different universe. The Coldplay puns write themselves at this point, but I hope you can see where I'm coming from. I think that some things we just have to learn to let go and there's so many bands that have put out embarrassing albums so far and so late into their career if Coldplay were in their 60s if they were into their 70s and they were trying to pull off like stuff like I've seen The Who or Kiss do with albums that just really don't land at all even bands as iconic as Rush have put out some rather not good stuff in their later years. So I think it's okay to know when to pass off that torch and say, you know what? We'll still be open to maybe doing a collaboration here and there. We're gonna tour. It's going to open the doors for them to maybe pay more attention to a Deep Cuts tour, to a specific album for an anniversary, or just a general tour where they play all of the greatest hits. You know the drill, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you're new in town and there might be trouble in town if you don't. If you wanna see more music news updates, then you can tap a card on screen here or tap here for more Coldplay videos that I've done. Other than that, you can follow me on social media. The links are in the description, and I'll be back soon with more on Beyond AR TV.